Hello, Gemini. How are you? Hope you're doing well, Gemini. If you're a returning soul, welcome back. And if not, welcome to my channel, Pisces Spirit Moon. All right, Gemini. Gemini, as usual, thank you very much for your likes, comments, subscribing to my channel, your kind donations. I truly appreciate it very, very much. Thank you all and each one of you. And uh, Gemini can't reply anymore to each and every one of your uh, comments, but I do read them all, okay? And uh, to show you that I read them, I click the little heart button, the little, I heart them, okay? And that's the way I, I can express my gratitude also, okay? But if you have a question and I see that it has to be answered, uh, of course, I, I get back and I try to answer, okay? If you feel like answering somebody else's question, by all means, please go ahead. No hard feelings. And uh, Gemini, if you like how I read and you'd like to book a personal reading with me, or if you'd like to make a kind donation and support my channel and what I do, all the info is in the description box down below, okay? And keep in mind, that's the only way you can contact me. There's no other way. And um, uh, I don't uh, reach out and offer my services to anyone, okay? So uh, if you if you get any messages from anyone offering their services or pretending to be me, uh, just ignore it. Okay, it's not me. So be careful. Okay. All right, Gemini. Let's see. Oh, Gemini. Keep in mind that my readings are general and they're timeless. So just keep what resonates and leave the rest behind. Leave the rest for another Gemini. Okay. It's always good to check your other placements. See what uh, other signs you have, especially in your Moon, Venus, rising. Okay, because if this reading doesn't resonate, Maybe another video for another sign that I upload might make more sense, depending on what signs you have in those placements. Okay, Gemini, let's start. Gemini, the heart of the matter, what this reading is about. Justice, let's Libra energy, boom. Oops, I'm sorry, I hit my microphone and you probably, I just blew your ears out. If you, for those who are wearing headphones. Well, no, because I compress the audio, so. Um, things balance, karma coming in, justice being made, the universe working to make things more balanced, okay? Let's hope that this is in your favor, okay? Gemini, the energy that's crossing you, this could be challenging you or benefiting you. It's the moon, that's strong Pisces energy. That's my card. You can't see things clearly. feel a little lost somehow. Let me see. Gemini, the energy that's crowning you or what you do see clearly is the Five of Swords. It's got to walk away. Okay? You know it. Walk out of the drama. There's no need to fight. Just drop your swords and move on. Okay? Gemini, some of you might have some Taurus energy because I just did Taurus reading and it's 
a little similar here, okay? So you might want to check that reading too. Okay, Gemini, what's below you or in your subconscious mind and you don't see clearly and maybe you should? Because this is usually what the universe is really trying to tell us. It's like our intuition. It's beautiful. That's your card right there, okay? It's Gemini, that's the lovers, and it's telling you that you have to stay balanced. And this was the advice for Taurus. So you might want to check Taurus reading. You might have some Taurus energy or you're dealing with some strong Taurus energy at this moment, okay? But this is the divine telling you that you have to step into your higher power. You have to vibrate in the frequency that you should. Does that make any sense? Because it does to me. The only way you're going to do it is by dropping those swords and moving on, moving away from that toxic drama. It's unnecessary fight. Let karma do the work for you. Okay? Just release the thought of not being able to see things clearly. Sometimes you don't have to see things clearly. Sometimes the universe doesn't let us see things. It's, just, it's, a, it's, a, it's a form of protection. Don't try figuring things out that maybe you shouldn't. Just get more hurt sometimes though, doing that one. Okay, Gemini. Gemini, in your recent past, what's behind you? And it's pushing you through this magical energy. The Ten of Pentacles, okay? You want to vibrate higher. I just heard that. I just, it, I just heard that. It's, I want to vibrate in a much better frequency, okay? Now, for some of you, this could be, you know, financial, okay? And, you know, your abundance, you want to work in your money, and you want to get there. And you want to be respected, you want to be admired. You want to be surrounded by loyal people, okay? Also, this could be in health matters. You want your health to improve, okay? But just your overall energy. That's the energy behind you. It's, it's pushing you through this. That's good. Gemini, the energy that's in front of you or what's coming towards you, where you're headed, in your future, it's the Hierophant. Okay? You are being divinely guided here. You're being protected by God, by the universe, by the divine. This is also my, my card of ascending, spiritual ascending. You're ha you're, the universe is handing you those keys. You see those keys at the bottom? Okay. The keys of knowledge, the keys to a new door, to a new path. Might be a, an awakening for some of you. Just a very strong ascension. Okay, but uh, so you got to walk away from the drama. Okay, that shit doesn't can carry that stuff with you. That stuff doesn't work where you're headed to. Okay, and release that. Not having a clear mind about things. Okay, emotions might be running a little deep for some of you. Okay, that's normal. A little confusion. That's okay. That's normal. Take it from a Pisces. We Pisces strive in confusion. We spawn from confusion. <laughs> okay, Gemini. Gemini, the way you see yourself or how you're responding to this outstanding situation is the Five of Cups. You gotta release that energy. Okay, you're releasing that energy. That all has been lost. Okay, nothing has been lost. It's just how you feel. 
my feeling your blue my feeling the blues right now in a way okay all you gotta turn around and see what you have left and do do the best with what you have sometimes we gotta lose things to focus on the little bit that we have that works better having too much sometimes it, it confuses us especially yeah emotionally most more than anything because our emotions start running all over the damn place and and we get in that energy the energy around you okay what's influencing you it's the three of pentacles that's a hard that's a hard working card also for me it's not like you know there's other pentacle cards that, that are hard working cards but this is also a card of, of of but it's a harmonious work it's doing things with quality Ma mastering your craftsmanship within yourself i think you have also energies around you that are supporting you okay this could be in this world or energies from another plane energies that have probably already passed even energies that have never been in this plane they're working with you get a sense of also you know for some of you a craftsman you know that the man on the stool, he knows how what he's doing. He knows he knows how to work. His, how he knows how to do his job, and uh, he feels somehow interrupted by those two people. Okay, for some of you, you might just uh, not let external influences tell you how to do your your inner work. Okay, but then there's also people that are helping helping. Okay. And when we receive that help, we don't tell them to go and take a leap. No. We express our gratitude. Okay. It's always good advice from people. Always stop what you're doing and listen. And then think if what they're telling you is worth applying to your work or not. Okay. Always be appreciative of, of when people show you a form of guidance or support. Gemini, your hopes and fears is the Queen of Pentacles, okay? Uh, okay, I get a sense of I don't want to be left alone, even if... I'm working on myself, okay? It's just a fear that's in your mind, okay? But for some of you, this could also be, you know, maybe, uh, you, know, you, you want to be a very loving person, very motherly, very grounded, you know? But you don't want to feel alone. You don't want to be alone. Okay, you know your worth, you know your abundance, connected with your intuition, with nature, if not, you should, you know, but don't feel lonely. And if you feel lonely right now, it's, it's part of your process, because the only way that we can do the inner work is we have to be alone. And uh, that's the way it works, you know, the more we ascend, we get a sense of that things start getting a little lonelier there's always a reason for it doesn't mean that's going to be the way always okay you're just changing your vibration that's all gemini and not everybody vibrates in the same frequency that's why we've got to leave them behind yeah and that's why we feel a little lost okay okay gemini Hopes, hopes, no. Uh, outcome or advice, which I usually take more as advice. It's 
death card. It's Scorpio energy. It's the end of a cycle. It's a new beginning. Accept it. Don't fear it. Okay? Don't fear it. Accept what has to come. It's a it's a it's an ending for a new beginning and it's happening for you. It's beautiful. I like that. You gotta release that, okay? The sense of losing it, losing it all. You didn't lose anything. You only lost what has to be lost. Does, do I have to put it in another way? Sometimes we get so attached to things, to situations, that when we lose them, it, 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 it throws us off balance. Okay? That's why the justice balancing. The lovers, that's, that's your card. It's inner balance. Stepping into your power. When we lose certain things that we are emotionally attached to, they can throw us off balance. We have to accept it. It's part of your path. Okay, Gemini, the bottom of the deck. Knight of Swords. Fast movement with a clear mind, with more knowledge. Eyes on the prize, you're headed off at full speed. Okay? That's beautiful. Just release all the toxicity and start that new begin. Okay? Even if you have to start by footstep, you know. Starting fresh, new. Okay, Gemini, Gemini, uh, it's that energy you want to to get to. You want to 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 get to this energy. It's a beautiful energy. Okay, it could be material. It could be just within yourself spiritually. You know, even your health. Okay, but uh, don't feel lonely. Don't feel lonely. Don't don't be afraid of being lonely. It's, it's not forever. It's, it's like I said, when we are ascending, it, it feels that way. And it's the only way we can work with ourselves. Okay? But let justice come in and do the work for you. I mean, because this is major arcana, and that's the divine working with you. Okay? So that you can ascend. God is guiding you. The universe is working with you. Okay, don't feel that that you have to search for answers. Uh, the answers will come to you. Let them come to you. Exactly, just like the justice. Let the things work just for you. Don't go out trying to look for answers, okay? because then we start finding things that we don't we don't need to see, and that can throw us off balance, off balance too. Okay. Focus on yourself. That's what the divine wants you to do. And the advice is just let this end, let this new beginning come in. Okay? I think for some of you it's a strong awakening, okay? That's very nice. Just release that sense of, 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 of emotional loss. You were attached to something that you didn't, uh, it wasn't serving you. I can see that for sure. Okay. And then you'll be headed off with a clear mind, with a, more knowledge, more protected, and more prepared. That's what I, that's the right word, not the more prepared. Okay. All right. Gemini, I'm going to leave it there for you. Okay. I hope, uh, I hope this reading helps you. I hope uh, it finds you well, and what can I say? I wish you all the best, and congratulations, you know. Uh, been recent readings for Gemini have been, you know, just a, a lot of spiritual uh, progressing, you know. It's, it's, you guys are trying to really put the, the work on yourselves. That's good. That's very good, Gemini. Okay. Gemini, 
I hope to see you next time. Okay. And as usual, stay safe. Okay. Stay happy. Okay. Don't get confused. Okay. Don't go looking for answers that you shouldn't know. Let the magic happen. Always say that. Always let the mystery and the magic happen. Okay, stay safe, stay happy, and stay very, very blessed. All right, Gemini? All right, Gemini. Take care. Goodbye.